Hello and welcome back to the show. It's Woman Wednesday and today we're discussing African women on the rise, specifically looking at the impact of She Leads Africa. And no better persons to discuss this than two of the representatives here with us. On my far right, I have Feyi Kemi Abudu. Thank you for joining us, Feyi Kemi. And on my immediate right, I have immediate right, I beg your pardon, I have Osayo Morgaios Obaseki. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Okay, right. welcome to our sets. Yes, indeed. Welcome, Faye and okay. Osayomo. Thank you very much for coming. And of course, um, you're representing She Leads Africa here yes. today. Yes. I must say that on a Woman Wednesday like this, we are really excited to have you here because when we read about or hear about the work that SLA does, you know, for women, not just in Nigeria, but across Africa, it's truly admirable. And I, I, I know you've probably been in a position to answer this question. How did this idea come about and why was it so important to have that online platform for women to, um, um, to grow professionally? Well, um, so She Leaves Africa is a community largely online and events as well, mm. where we, our main aim is to help young African business and career women succeed. So our founders, Afu and Yasmin, they noticed that, um, you know, they went to really good schools and they were starting out in their careers and they noticed they had a lot of tools and a lot of opportunities to know how to get ahead in their careers, how to start a business. They had a lot of access, but they noticed a lot of young women like them mm. didn't have those tools, didn't have that access. And so they started to look for what resources are out there, what events are out there for young women like themselves to learn and to grow in their businesses and careers. And what they found was there was a lot for kind of the older woman in her mm. career. There was a lot for the young girl starting out, but in this middle gap where you're young, you're leaving university, starting out in your career, or you have a business idea you want to take on. There wasn't much in that space that was presented in a young, fresh way that you could relate to, and that's how She's Africa was born. So, um, Osayama, he's just spoken extensively about how it was born. Let's talk about the impact of She Leads Africa so far. What countries have you been to and what testimonies have you gotten? Okay, so we have um, our She Hive initiative, which is basically a professional boot camp, a four-day professional boot camp for young female career professionals and entrepreneurs. And... She Hive this year has been to five cities. So we've been to Abuja, we've been to Accra, we've been to Nairobi, we've been to London, New York, and we're doing Lagos from tomorrow, basically, nice. and Joburg in November. So we've been able to take this initiative around and, you know, impact a lot of women. Because, I mean, I feel, you know, we see a lot of um, programs for microfinance and micro enterprises, which is really just serving the people at the very bottom of the pyramid. But what we're trying to do is now provide a platform for people to connect and to get um, tangible business skills, you know, people in the middle basically. So people that want senior leadership positions, people that have businesses, and to transform them. So we've been able to take our she hive around those cities and coming to Lagos tomorrow, starting from tomorrow. All right. So, now I'm, we're really happy about that. I'm I'm glad I'm Lagosian, so I'm really I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, obviously Lagos is the commercial capital of Nigeria, yeah. and so there there must be a number of young women who are in business already or just starting out in business who would benefit from She Leads Africa. Now, Olive asked also earlier on about the testimonies. I cannot imagine having gone across these cities, you know, <laughs> in terms of what is the impact? What kind of women come to your event? What's their initial reaction in terms of, or where? what's their initial level? Where are they at that point? And when they're leaving your event, where are they at that point? Okay, so the women that come to our events are varied. They're usually between 18 and 35, and they're at, you know, anything from the beginning stages of career to mid-level, or they're looking to start a business. A lot of them looking to start a business while in their careers or trying to figure out their next steps. And so people come very expectant, because um, when we put it out there, we... We tell them the sessions, we tell them the speaker. So people come expectant to learn and to meet other people as well. And they leave just kind of with their expectations, you know, met and then some. Because they've come, they've met other people that are like them, that have the same interests as them. They've networked with people. They might get job <coughs> opportunities. And actually, they've learned tangible skills. Well, there are job skills. opportunities there. Well, we have networking, so you never know what can happen in oh, the room. Sure. 
Sure. You know, and you leave with tangible skills from our workshops where you can take your idea and use it through the speakers, through the talks, through the different sessions that we have. Mm -hmm. And you learn tangible things that when you get home, you can apply to your life and change things. So a lot of people are still in contact with people they've met um, at the conference. A lot of people say, you know, how useful they are. A lot of people tweet at us saying they're so happy she leaves Africa is in their life. Mm -hmm. You know, people really enjoy it because it's a different kind of event for women. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there, there are many different events that women go to, but yes. this one is yeah. focused on business and career, which there needs to be more of those. Right. I want to ask Osayo more what we are to expect, but first of all, I want to react to something um, you said. We're talking yeah. about job opportunities yeah. and everything. And earlier on, she had mentioned the fact that the women who have businesses, so yeah. if a woman doesn't have a business, can she come? Yes, of course. If you don't have a business, you can come if you're a student. You can come, you know, at some point you're looking to grow into either business or career or both. So you okay. can come if you're a creative, you can come as well. If you just want to meet people and be in an environment with young women who are doing things, who are ambitious, who are interesting, you can come. So what are we expecting to see? Who are the speakers we should look forward to seeing? Okay, so I would just to follow up on what Fake and you said and ties in with this. I think one thing about our events is that, you know, it's really intimate. It's not the typical, you know, sit down, listen to this session, listen to that, you know, not the typical business conference you have. So one thing that people get out of it and a lot of things that we've heard from them is, oh, you know, this was a really intimate session. You know, we were really, it was really engaging, really hands-on. So that is something that we always hear in terms of testimonials. And that's something you should also expect at She Hive Lagos. So um, we have a lot of speakers, um, you know, touching on a var variety of topics. You know, we have Nimiya King Bay, who's the founder of Best Man Games. We have Arisa Ugu, who, you know, is... Smart champion. Money Africa. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we have Adek Peju, who is the CEO of Lafarge, Tony Odulates. We have a lot of speakers, a lot of speakers that are going to be touching on different subjects, work-life balance, getting your customers, sales, and we have even ha we even have rap battles and oh, shocking. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I should know about the rap battles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something I really like about this you know, event mm. is the variety and the dynamism of the of each day. Yeah. Yeah. So on each day, I see that there's something different. Yeah. You can almost like a shopping list. You can pick and choose which suits yeah. you. You can go for the one-on-one -on -one, um, personal mentoring from your co-founders. Yeah. And then um, even the, um, the, the variety of speakers you have yeah. as well for women who want to just have a day pass, just one day, or just go there to network. Really, really important. Yeah. Um, and if people wanted to register, how could they do this? So they can register at sheleesafrica.org, so okay. www.sheleesafrica.org, or you can check out information on all our social media platforms. That's at Sheely's Africa. Okay. And you can buy a ticket for a day, you can buy a ticket for the weekend, or mm -hmm. if maybe for some reason you can't come for the whole conference, we have a shopping event called Shop the Hive on the Sunday afternoon, which is open to the public and it's free. Mm. Um, but I would suggest you definitely, definitely get a weekend pass or yes. a day ticket so you can um, take full advantage. Or you can go for our all access pass, which starts from tomorrow, which you can also find on our website. Fantastic. Now what so is the timing for every day? Okay, well, the, if you had our all access um, pass, so you have two days, Thursday and Friday are intensive small workshops. So that's from 2 to 5 and 10 to 5 on Thursday and Friday, respectively. Okay. And then the other session, Saturday and Sunday, last from 10 to 5. So it's... Okay, this is really yeah. inspiring. I and I look forward to being a part of this. And yeah, as many who are watching, you, you want to be empowered, you want to take your career, your business to the next level. She Leads Africa is offering us that opportunity and um, hopefully we'll take it. All right. And thank you so much for Ikemi Apuju yeah, and Osayomo yeah. Gaius thank you. Baseki. Thank we'll go on a quick break. When we return, Hello Nigeria continues. Please don't go away.
to enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.